this Saturday, Madam President, marks the 50th anniversary of Seattle's World's Fair. And the fair is a really a presentation of what the world would be like in the 21st century. The Space Needle was built, and it gave us an iconic symbol that still lasts and defines our skyline today. More than 9 million people visited that World's Fair in 1962. Elvis Presley stopped by during a film of a movie because the movie was called It All Happened at the World's Fair. And all the visitors saw a very futuristic uh, rendition of what boundless energy and innovative spirit in America would be all about. President Kennedy opened the fair highlighting the innovation in science and technology and said that these accomplishments are a bridge which will carry us confidently towards the 21st century. Indeed, the World's Fair was a bridge to the 21st century, especially for our Washington state economy. The fair foreshadowed that Puget Sound and the entire state as a region would look to innovation and entrepreneurship. The Seattle Fair gave the public a glimpse of what life would be like in the 21st century. And in the following years, Washington State was home to many of the innovations and technologies that revolutionized the way we live and work. In 1962, Seattle was home to the first satellite transmission of telephone calls and television broadcasts. That same year, the Seattle Times declared Boeing is a space age company to stay. And the rest of the, the, rest of the changes that we've continued to see have led to many things, including Boeing's 787 Dreamliner that is a 21st century plane. Also, it helped uh, in setting a tone. Bill Gates took his company from his parents' house in, uh, to a global headquarters in Redmond, Washington. It was a company that was founded in 1975. And after opening its first store in 1963, Costco's became one of the first companies to ever go from zero to three billion in sales in just under six years. Amazon revolutionized the way people shop online, and it is a company that has continued to make innovations. And today, many other companies in Washington state, from everything from composites for airlines, to lean manufacturing, to mobile apps, to software, to clean energy technology, companies are continuing to innovate and to make sure that we have a talented workforce to carry out those. So 50 years ago, the World's Fair and what was announced there made sure that the United States was poised for big things to come. Some of the predictions that we saw about life in the 21st century may not have come true yet, things like flying cars, although I just recently saw an article uh, about flying cars, so maybe they weren't too far off. But other things were right on as they predict that one day you'll be able to have a telephone in your pocket. Fifty years later, we look back and see a glimpse of the 21st century in the exhibitions and the booths that were at the World's Fair. But we also see how fast the future can really come and what we need to do to keep moving forward, not just in Washington State, and, but here in the country in an innovation economy. I thank the uh, President. I yield the floor.